What's good, gang? It's Imani and EJ. And we are about to move you guys through a comedic yoga rising flow. So this is something that you will do when you wake up each rising. Got anything you want to tell them? Nope. Just remember to breathe, have an open mind, comedic yoga. Let's get it, gang gang. Okay, so we're going to start off from a seated position. Make sure you're comfortable. And for today's practice, we're going to start off with a hiku or a mantra. And the hiku that we're going to use today is dua ra. Dua in comedic language means adorations or giving thanks and ra is the sun. So how we're going to do this is we're going to inhale in. And then as you exhale, you're going to say dua ra, dua ra, dua ra three times. And we're going to do this for a total of three rounds. So now take an inhale in deeply through your nose. Dua ra, dua ra, dua ra. And inhale in again. Dua ra, dua ra, dua ra. I'm doing that one more time. Inhale in. Dua ra, dua ra. Dua ra. And now relax for the next few moments and allow the vibrations of the chant to settle down into your aura, into your body, and stay with your breath. And now we're going to get into a little breath work. So start by taking your right hand and put it over your belly button and then put your left hand over top of your right hand and make sure both of your thumbs are pressing in one another so you create like a little pyramid with your fingers. So how we're going to do this is you're going to take a deep breath in through your nose and imagine the breath going in through your nose, into your belly button, and the inhale going into your right palm and then pushing the exhale through your left hand. And try to take slow, deep breaths. There's no rush. Control your breath, control your mind, control your life. So start off by taking a deep breath in through the nose, into the belly button, into the hand, and then exhale and just keep that going. We're going to take one more full round of breath here. And whenever you're ready, you can release your hands and whip your legs around in front of your body and come into a straight legged seated position. And there's no rush as we transition through these poses. In comedic yoga, we always try to focus on our within experience. So even notice your body, your muscles as we switch poses and transition. So we're gonna start off with a simple forward fold. So bringing our toes and our feet and our legs together as close as comfortably possible. And now we're gonna inhale. And as you inhale, you're gonna reach as high as you can to the sky and push your hips into the earth as you reach up. 
And keep inhaling and keep reaching up, up, up and breathe in. And as you exhale, hinge at your waist and reach forward out in front of you. Allow gravity to drop your body down and just keep reaching forward. And your body will naturally drop down and let your hands naturally drop wherever they land on the ground, on your feet, your ankles, your shins, wherever they land. And now that you're in the pose, come to your breath. Take slow, deep breaths. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. Any sensations that you feel in the back of your legs, maybe your lower back, maybe even the upper back. Breathe into these areas of your body. And as you exhale, feel the muscles release the tension. One more full round of breath here. And now we're slowly gonna release the posture and lift back up. Slowly take your time, inching back up. Once again, feeling the muscles even as we lift back up and feeling the muscles work in our body. Now getting into a seated twist. So we're gonna bend our right knee in, keeping our foot flat. And you're gonna take your left arm and wrap around your right knee. Get that crease of that left elbow wrapped around your right knee. And you're gonna take your right hand behind you flat to the earth and twist and open up and breathe and allow the right hand to support you. And every time you exhale, allow your breath to twist you deeper into your stretch. Slow, deep breaths. Really feel the inhale as you open up and expand and feel the exhale as you contract and shrink in. One more full round of breath here. And now slowly releasing the pose, straightening out our right leg. And then we're just gonna switch sides. So bending the left knee in, taking the sole of your left foot down to the earth. On this side, we're gonna do a different twisting variation. So to do this, first you can twist open and we're gonna lean back and drop our left arm down to the earth, our left forearm. And now you're gonna take your right arm and you're gonna hinge it outside of your left knee. And now that you're here, you're gonna push your left knee and your right arm together and open up and twist to your left and look back in the direction that your hand is facing. This is just to try something a little different. If you don't like it, if it's not comfortable, then go to the other twist that we did on the opposite side. And now that we're here, come to your breath, slow, deep inhales, breathing in and breathing out. One more full round of breath here. And now slowly lifting back up out of the twist. Take your time. Notice the muscles. Extend your left leg back out. And the next pose that we're going to get into is baby pyramid. So keeping our legs straight, but now you're going to bend your knees just slightly, just a little bit, and take your hands to the earth right beside your knees. And as you inhale, you're going to lift the arms up to shoulder height. And as we exhale, hinging at the waist, reaching forward out in front of you, just keep reaching forward, allow gravity to work your body, allow your body's anatomy to naturally work. And stay with your breath, allow your hands to naturally drop wherever they will. Now taking the chin into the chest, allow your body to soften up and you're gonna take deep inhales from the base of your spine up to the top of your neck and as you exhale you're going to soften through your jaw and your chin and your shoulders
one more full round of breath here. And now slowly releasing the pose, slowly lifting back up vertebrae by vertebrae. Take your time. Remember in comedic yoga, we always want to notice what's happening within. On your next inhale, lift your arms up to shoulder height. And as you exhale, slowly drop your hands to rest on top of your thighs with your palms facing down. And come back to your breath and just notice how you feel within. Is your mind active? Are you present in the now moment? Do you feel any subtle energy changes in your body? How do you feel? Just notice. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna whip our legs around to lay on our stomach and our chest facing the front of our mat. Preparing to go into the Sphinx posture. So how we're gonna do this is you're gonna lift up until you can rest your elbows and your forearms flat on the ground. Try the best you can to get your elbows directly beneath your shoulders. And how you're gonna do this is you're gonna press into your elbows, lifting your heart up off the ground and try visually to lift your heart up into the top of your head as you're pressing your hands, your elbows, and your forearms down into the earth and keep lifting up and pressing down and breathe. Remember to breathe. One more full round of breath here. And as you exhale, slowly release yourself back down to the earth. And now bringing our hands right underneath our chest. And whenever you're ready, push yourself up off the ground into a high plank. And from this high plank position, we're gonna transition back into pyramid pose. With pyramid pose, you wanna have your hands flat to the earth, have your hands active. And you wanna walk your feet up a little bit to where your feet are flat to the earth and your heels are actively going into the ground. Allow your chest to melt in between your shoulders and relax your shoulders into the pose the best you can. Relax your elbows, pushing the hips up to the sky. And as you're pushing your hips up to the sky, you wanna press your heels into the earth and press your hands into the earth all at the same time. Remember to breathe, control your breath slowly in and out. And now slowly start to walk your feet to the front of the mat, one by one, one step after another. Still being in tune with our breath. Once your feet meet your hands at the front of the mat, you're going to bring your big toes together with your heels slightly apart, like a slice of pizza. And you're going to reach around and grab your ankles, get a firm grasp on your ankles, and take a deep inhale in. And when you exhale, you're going to bend your elbows and allow the bending of your elbows to pull you deeper into your fold. And while we're here, taking slow, deep breaths to feel the expansion and contraction of your abdomen. And now you're slowly going to release the grip on your ankles and one vertebrae at a time. We're going to slowly lift up. Remember, slowly lift up one vertebrae at a time. Stand with your breath. You can bring your hands to heart center and prayer position as you lift up. And feel the muscles working as you slowly lift up. Once the crown of your temple arrives to the top, you're gonna to inhale, lift your shoulders up, and as you exhale, roll them back and down your spine. 
Allow your thumbs to rest in the crease in between your chest. Now we're gonna get into the offset victory pose. So grounding our left foot down into the earth, you're gonna inhale, lift your right knee up. And as you exhale, take the top of your right foot and take your foot back and let your toes touch the earth and slowly start to drop your weight down to the earth. It's okay if you lose your balance, stay with your breath, keeping your left foot flat to the earth, allow it to support you. Now you're gonna allow the top of your back foot to come all the way down to the earth. And you're gonna rest your hips on top of your heel and sitting just like this with your spine straight, hands still in prayer position, allow your left leg to support you. That's like a staff right now, the staff, the spine. Staying with our breath, notice this simple posture, you can already feel the muscles working. On your next inhale, you're gonna flare your elbows outward, keeping your elbows lifted up, bringing your fingertips facing one another having your palms face the same direction as your heart. And on your next inhale, you're gonna open your arms up, open your wings with your palms facing down and embrace wisdom. Connect with your breath, allow your muscles to work in the posture, breathe deeper into your body, allow your inhales to get deeper and fuller, control your exhales, keep your arms balanced. And now take a deep inhale in, and as you exhale, slowly bring your hands together and form this energy ball in between your hands as you bring your hands together. Take another inhale in, and as you exhale, slowly take your hands back to the earth, pushing yourself up out of this seating position. However you need to, whatever is best for you to get up, there's no specific way. If you need to shake your right leg out, shake your knee out, Go ahead and do what you need to do. These comedic postures, even though it's not a lot of movement, it's still working the body. You can still feel what's happening within your body, within your mind, within your spirit. So now going to the opposite side, bringing our big toes together, heels slightly apart, hands at prayer over the heart, grounding our right foot into the earth. And now we're gonna lift our left knee up as we inhale. And as you exhale, taking the left foot back, letting the top of your toes touch the earth. And as you slowly drop your weight down, bending your knees. And once your left knee touches the earth, allow the top of your back foot to drop all the way down to the earth. Let the right foot be flat to support you. Remember that's your staff, the staff, the spine, the jed. If your foot isn't comfortable like this, you also can untuck your foot and allow your toes, the balls of your feet to rest on the earth. And you can sit on your heel if you want to look up at the screen. So from here, instead of tucking the top of your foot down, you can rest on your heel with your balls of your feet into the earth, whichever is more comfortable for you. And now whenever you get comfortable in the posture, hands in prayer position over the chest, staying with our breath. Remember deep inhales in and out. On your next inhale, flare the elbows outward, keeping the elbows lifted up, fingertips together, palms facing the heart. On your next inhale, you're gonna open your arms, palms facing down into your wings of wisdom. And now we are in the offset victory pose. Remember, allow that right foot and right knee, that's your staff to support you. Stay with your breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Now taking a deep inhale in, and as you exhale, slowly start to bring the palms together, bringing that energy ball in between the hands. And once your palms touch, you're gonna bring your hands back over your heart. And take a deep inhale in, and as you exhale, slowly take your hands back to the earth and push yourself up off the ground however you need to. And if you want to shake your left leg out, shake both legs out, shake your arms out, your wrists, do whatever you need to.
And now we're gonna slightly bend our right knee, keeping the left leg straight and drop your right forearm right above your right knee to support you. And we're gonna hold here. And now you're gonna inhale and twist to the left and open your left arm, take your left fingertips to the sky. And now feel the chest open up, take deep breaths. And as you exhale, stretch through the left fingertips. And on your next exhale, you're slowly going to bring your left hand back down and guide the energy with your left hand all the way down to the earth. Now straightening out our right leg and we're gonna bend our left knee, just a slight bend and you're gonna lift your left hand and bring your left forearm right above your left knee. Inhaling and twisting, opening the right arm and as you exhale, stretching the right fingertips to the sky. Remember, slow, deep breaths. And on your next exhale, you're slowly going to bring the right hand back down, guiding the energy from the sky down to the earth with your right hand, touching your right hand to the earth. Then releasing the left hand, allowing both hands to drop, releasing the shoulders, releasing the chest back into a forward fold. And now we're slowly gonna lift up. And we're going to finish off with the pose of Selket. So the next pose that we're going to do is the pose of Selket. Selket is a goddess of protection. So when we do this pose, you just want to feel and embrace the energy of protection. So bringing our hands by our side, and you're gonna turn your palms facing outward and inhale slowly, lift your hands up and pull this protective energy up around you. And as you exhale, you'll bring your palms together. On your next inhale, you're going to turn your palms facing outward, bringing the back of your hands together. And as you slowly exhale, you're going to slowly flare your arms outward, keeping the elbows straight, pulling this protective energy back down around you. And once your hands get about three quarters of the way down, you're going to hinge your elbows in towards your rib cage. So now keeping our elbows locked in, and your palms are gonna face the same direction that your heart is facing. And now feel the breath in this pose. Feel the energy that radiates from your palms. Feel the protection. Allow your feet to ground through the earth. Slow, deep inhales and exhales. Feel the expansion and contraction of the abdomen. Feel your heart opening up. And now you're gonna take a deep inhale and as you exhale, slowly bring that energy ball together. In between your hands, this big ball of energy forming. As you bring your hands together, you can see it, feel it, visualize it, harness it, and slowly bring your hands together. And once your palms touch, you're gonna inhale, lift your hands up, and as you exhale, settle your hands over your chest in prayer position. And whenever you're ready, you can drop your hands and come out of the posture and just notice how you feel and take this feeling throughout the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed the flow. Ankh Ujjaya Asalaamu As Alaikum.